Omega just brought back the Speedmaster first Omega in space, and here's five things you need to know. It's in a 39.7 millimeter case with a 13.2 millimeter thickness and a 48 millimeter lug to lug, making it smaller than the Speedmaster Professional Moonwatch and the same size as the Speedmaster Hodinkee that I'm wearing. The Sapphire Crystal is a brand new update that's made to look like Hesalite, meaning it won't stick out like a box shaped crystal, but it will blend into the case and bezel. This should be super interesting to see. The dial is blue gray with vintage colored loom, vintage applied Omega mega logo, alpha hands, and the baton chronograph seconds hand is varnished white to match the white minute indices. It now has the master chronometer caliber 3861, which is in the same range of the Speedmaster Professional, zero to plus five seconds accurate per day, fully anti-magnetic. The case back is closed, but with an updated first Omega in space engraving. And finally, it comes on a brand new flat link bracelet that looks like the 321. It tapers and has a micro adjustment in the class. On bracelet, it's priced at 7,900 or on two different leather strap options, 7,500. I'm super excited to see this. I just want to try the bracelet and see if that will fit on my watch. But the new crystal and the new dial looks awesome. What do you think?